video is brought to you by ChannelFireball.com. Check out CFB for free strategy videos and articles from the best players in the world. You can also use the code GABBY at checkout to get 5% off any purchase. Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome. Uh, we are drafting a Coria today. Yeah, Mike, oops. <laughs> now everybody's gonna go get their ice cream in the fridge. What are we taking here, chat? I feel like... Thank you, Archie. Yeah, I appreciate that. I like the Symbiote a lot. I also like the Glowstone Recluse a lot. We could also take the Wild Bonder. That card is kind of sweet. Yeah, Gatekeeper, I like that. That's good. That is good, good, good. This pack is like really... Trample Tribal. I kind of like the, the Wild Bonder. Let's just take the Wild Bonder and go that direction. Like, then... Yeah. This is reanimate. Put that card in. Return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. If Sultai was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card and put it into the graveyard. So you get to choose what to uh, put in. Mm, so it's a raised dead. I don't think I'm super interested in that. I might be more interested in just this like ram through. Ram through seems good. It's good with a super tramplers too. It's like once in future. Yeah, Wolf, that makes sense. It's a lot like that, huh? When you kick it. Kick it and reverse it. Bad pack polywog. Yeah, I don't like the polywog that much. It's okay. I'm just gonna take Ram through. I do not want Offspring's Revenge, sadly. We could take uh, the Parcel Beast. The Parcel Beast is quite good. Then we'd be like blue-green stuffs, maybe? Hey, Magic Ian, welcome. How are you? It's good to have you here. Yeah, I like the Parcel Beast. It's very good. So it's Great Horn. The greatest horn. We might be able to wield that guy. I think here we can take an Essence Scatter and we can just be like blue-green stuffs. That's not too shabby. Yeah, you gr blue-green stuff is okay. The D's horn. <laughs> I do like the greatest sandworm. I think that card's pretty good. I think we could take that or maybe Thieving Otter. It is kind of a late pacifism, but I, I like the greater sandworm. I think that card's really good. Now we can take a Frost Lynx because that card's just a fine card. Otter for Mutate Target? Yeah! Lynx also is a good mutate target, and Otter works pretty well with it, too. We've seen a lot of Keensight Mentors, the, the VG Mentor. I don't think we want any of these cards, not really. How have you liked Adventurous Impulse? I have really not liked it very much. I guess I could take an Adaptive Shimmer. Keep safe seems awful. Oh no, Saya Sixfoot, that's such a bummer. Impulse is fine. Yeah, it seems like medium, right? Yeah, Frostlings is pretty good, just in any kind of deck. I think the only card that looks loose here is the Adaptive Shimmer. I would like not to play him if we can help that. Oh, another Greatest Sandworm. Love to see it. Those are nice because you can just cycle them pretty easy or you can just have a banger. Like, we needed these in the last deck. This would have been so good in the last deck. Um, Bari, I think the human drafts on MTGA have been pretty good. I've been very impressed. Uh, I think Excavation Mole looks good here. That or, like, Fertilid, maybe? This one already has Trample, which makes the Wild Bonder have super, like, it's good with a Super Trample. So maybe we just go with Excavation Mole. How often are my three colors? I think pretty often, Ryan. It's just so easy. The, the, the fixing is plentiful, you know? I like LSV's take from set reviews. Impulse is good when you're playing a lot of force. You can reliably cast it on one. That's fair. Yeah, I can see that, Yuka. Totes. Um, but yeah, I think human drafts on Arena have been really good. I've been very happy with them. They also, I think to some degree, some of it is like mental a mental block. Like when you have... I think I'm going to take one of mine here. When you're playing against bots and the bots pass you something ridiculous, you're like, lol, 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 bots, so dumb. When people do it, it's like, oh, but it was a person who did it. Like, some of it is just a mental block that's gone away when you know you're drafting with real people and it's, you know, like, the decisions are being made by humans makes it feel better. Oh, Mythos after taking Mole actually could be reasonable. I could see that. 
Uh, I think we'll just play a Giraffid here. I don't think we win any of these other ones. They're all bad. Totally, Molly. I think that's harder to, to make happen, right? Because it's... You get just pot... You get put into any random pod. But tell me it, tell me it's not true that, like, a big part of it is just knowing that humans made the decision. Because when it's the bots are drunk, it's like... That just feels bad. It's not... It's clearly not perfect. It's just better. You've never met at a Singleton Wilt in your best of one decks. Yeah, you can definitely play it. I think the Pouncing Shore Shark looks pretty good here. I like the Wingspan Mentor too. Because we actually got the Survivor's Bond and we have a mix of humans and creatures. We have more non-humans than creatures. Which one is better? The Pouncing Shore Shark or the Wingspan Mentor? I kind of think the Shore Shark looks good in our deck. Oh, my maid. <laughs> good luck. Hopefully you're not in my colors. I'm just gonna take the shark. I like the shark. Ooh, that one's a that one's a banger. We want that thing for sure. Now we want to take cheaper stuff. Yeah, we want to take some some cheapies. We have a lot of self mill and rebuy with this. We currently can't cast the Mythos of Brokos, but that's okay. Holy moly, my, my the person next to me is just not green. So I guess we we are definitely in the right lane, at the very least. The person who's passing to us is not green, for sure. We're getting the hook up, man. Yeah, we got the big monkey. <laughs> Cugglers. <laughs> Does he mutate? No, you can just bounce a human and he... Ooh. Evil Wilds could be good here. What else could we take here? Capture Sphere is not bad. It's just really expensive. Yeah, they're in chat right now, DC. Maybe it's just a Goriak. It's true. I'm not even necessarily blue right now. We could just take the Grim Dancer. The Grim Dancer is just better than i mean we have parcel beast pouncing shore shark as in scatter and frost links i think i'll still take the capture sphere i don't really see a reason for us to move into black oh this thing is nice if we find um uh back for more we can reanimate this guy plus the trample counters work really well with our wild bonder because this one has super trample so we can give Big trample to one of the greatest sandworms. Like, that's a really good one to give the, the, the trample to. I know! Gojira! Oh. Oh, baby. All right. Now that we picked up the Titanoth Rex, I feel like we have to take back for more. We just have to get there on the fixing. Bummer. The Dismal Backwater fixes for it. But we can't take it because we want to take the card. It doesn't quite work. Not quite. Uh, okay, excavation. Well, we can run a second one after what this draft is looking like. Yeah, we have the two sandworms, not one, but two. So now we could potentially look into moving into black since there's a Duskfang mentor in there. And we currently have back for more, which means we wouldn't have to splash it. And we get rid of like Essence Scatter Frostlings in the Pouncing Shore Shark. We could even splash this maybe. So I think now we do take this as a kind of like speculative pick mm. Ooh, i think we have the we want the zagoth crystal that will either fix our splash or whatever we're like also we have expensive stuff so we actually i think want the crystal i think that sounds pretty good wingspan is really good too oh shoot it's bugged I think maybe it's fine that we ended up with a wingspan. That was really stupid, though. <laughs> we did kind of get Skamas. I was trying to swap it out. But, I mean, whatever. It's fine. It was just really weird. I think we want a honey mammoth. I love the honey mammoth. Get the honey! Get that honey! Bristling boar here, I think. And more Honey Mammoth. Uh, 
yeah, I do want the honey mammoth. Ooh, I love the naturalist. Perfect in our deck. I don't think I want more honey mammoth, but I might as well take one. We are pretty top heavy right now. We have to pick up cheap stuff. Like, uh, the skull profit is pretty good. I truly, oh, there's a blood curdle too. I truly thought we were moving in the black direction once I took the crystal. Yeah, I think we'll just take the blood curdle, maybe. Yeah, I, 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 I want to get that honey. Get that honey. Let's take the blood curdles. What else can we take here? I mean, dead weight works if we want to move into black. We'd get rid of some threes and pouncing short shark. I don't know. This is kind of an interesting pick because this this determines to some degree where we're which direction we're heading in. I think we'll take the dead weight and try to splash just for like the pouncing shore shark or something. <laughs> You're cycling, lol. Is this a good lead to stampede deck? Um, probably okay. I, I wasn't loving it. I think we'll take another greater sandworm. Nothing else we really want here. Everything looks bad. I guess Starling Development does cycle, so maybe we just take Starling Development. Make our deck a little smaller, more consistent. Um, I do like the Farfinder. Yeah, Farfinder seems good. Yeah, but Tenek, the, the first couple of picks go really fast, it feels like. They go super fast. All right, let's see what our deck looks like if we take probably take another Deadweight here and then move this, this... Keep that there, maybe. Essence, Scatter, and Startling Development over and Capture Sphere and Parcel Beast. So our deck would look something like this. That actually seems pretty decent. You don't hate this Deadeye either? I have a lot of fours is my concern. Yeah, we can play the Mentor. And the... Uh, that one we can definitely play. Ooh! The, sir, the the Thornwood Falls is looking good here. Perfect. Better than a third dead weight. Oh no, no! Come on, no! No, MTGA, why? Don't do this to me, no! Oh my god, this is so tilting! How is this? Please, please choose the Thornwood Falls. Auto select the Thornwood Falls. Ah! What did I get? A dead weight? <sighs> wow, disaster. I guess I'll take a Dusk Fan Mentor. Yeah, I, I will probably file for reimbursement. That was really stupid. The Durable Coil Bug actually looks good in this deck. Since we have double Excavation Mole, I bet we can bin it. What's happening? Uh, twice now I've picked a card and then MTGA kind of just froze. And it didn't let me change it or actually make a pick. So I just had a pick where we actually had a land that we really, really, really wanted. And it automatically just, like, picked a, a different card for me. I don't know. I haven't filed for reimbursement on MTG. I've never had to do that. Hmm. Maybe we just keep going deep with the excavation moles. Alt, tab in and out of the program. Just, like, tab in and tab out. Um, I think we'll just take a greater sandworm. You finally got your lost MMR back, but not at 10k. That's stupid, Molly. I also got mega baited. It was really, really dumb. I'll take a dark bargain. That sounds good. I have for MTGO. I never have an MTGA. Um, but I, I might actually file for this, for this one, just because, um... That was so tilting, the fact that that happened. And then the next pick, it was just fine, you know? Yeah, the, the you don't make a pick is horrible. It's so demoralizing. So we have a couple of humans. I think Survivor's Bond actually is going to be good here because we're going excavating and then Survivor's Bonds get stuff back. Um, We can get this back too. I don't even know we're going to play the Mentor. We probably just won one Bristling Boar. Are we even playing the Mythos? Yeah, I guess it's really good with the uh, Excavation Mole. The Pouncing Shore Shark seems okay. The Giraffe, it looks bad. We have a lot of Honey Mammoth. Back for more. greater. I mean, these at least cycle at two. And then this is also a cycles at two. Plus, we can cycle it and bring it back for more. So that's... 
Uh, cutting mammoths because we have too many. Yeah, Terry, our mana's awful, and we would have had we would have had the fix. I think the fact that we got that horrible pick means we don't play the shore shark, and we don't we we just don't. Yeah, we just like don't play it. Like we keep the far finder because it's good. I don't think we want triple dead weight. Maybe we want two. And um, maybe just cut another bristling board. I have not been impressed with that card. You doubt we need as many swamps as it's asking. I mean, I think that's what I want to run anyway, though. We have we have like double mentor, double dead weight, and like cards that I actually care about. Oh, I, gu I guess we can't ever do this unless we we could cut one swamp and add one island, and just have the island be tutorable with a far finder. Um. I think so, Lumbering, so we can cast the Mythos for flashback, because that, that's actually a big part of our plan. So we still have 42 cards. The kicker doesn't super matter with Mythos. Yeah, I guess it actually kind of doesn't. Oh, God, the other pick that we missed was the Crystal, so we would have had the Crystal in this deck. If you Google MTG Arena submit request, I, I'll have to Google that. That that This draft was tilting. Like, this one was a frustrating draft because of those bugs. Yeah, I might just end up cutting one Honey Mammoth. Just go like that. We have Honey Mammoth, this guy, and back for more. And then, like, maybe, like, a dead weight or... Maybe we don't need the Dark Bargain, actually. We have a lot of card advantage in this deck. <laughs> Three moles is a lot. <laughs> We're probably going to deck ourselves. I just feel like part of the plan is to reanimate the Godzilla or the, or to like Mythos stuff back to our hand. The black is really light actually. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking about going like this. I think 17 because we curve up pretty high. Plus we have all these sandworms that we want to cycle and actually cast. Remember, we have all this like insane sandworm stuff going on over here. Yeah, so I, I don't think I'd be comfortable with 16, but... I think 17 looks good. And I will play the blue source. I think it'll be okay. I mean, we'll see how punished we get for playing the blue source. Let's see. This looks okay. Keep. Yeah, okay, Rick. Nah, I always ask chat to know like what where they're at, you know. I don't think we're recycling the Titanoth Rex yet. Also, I'm supposed to have the cool art. What happened to you? Do I not have cool art? Uh graphics. No, it's supposed to be fine. Is this still a known bug? Is that still happening? <laughs> That's really funny, Mr. Horrible. Caracal is fine. Okay, let's excavate. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh. Greater Sandworm is a nice one to get back. Back for more. Also, we've been Survivor's Bond, which is a bummer, because I actually wanted that. Um... I guess I block? Feels like they might have a dead weight or something, but it just feels like a free attack more than anything. Ooh, I do like the honey mammoth. Okay. Uh, We don't really... Oh, I guess I could mutate onto the excavation mole, but it doesn't actually really bust up anything, so I think I will just hard cast it and I'm not going to worry about the perimeter sergeant too much. Yeah, definitely no need to mutate here. I'm not going to attack. I think next turn we might just like end up dead waiting that thing and then cycling the Titanoth Rex to give this guy... A, or no, give... Oh, they both have trample already. <laughs> well, now I'm going to dead wait that guy. Mm -hmm. So let's start by cycling you. I don't want to hit a land. Nice. Let's go dead wait this fool. Play that. 
So next turn we can play the Honey Mammoth. Love it. Um, This attack looks kind of sketch. I just attack with a Gem Razor, they double block, and then I kill like a Perimeter Sergeant and that's it. So don't think I'm even attacking here. Yeah, Mafonga, but we're like pretty far from all of them, so we actually did need to cycle to try to hit some lands. So there's a chance we hard cast the T-Rex, yeah. They're gonna send the perimeter sergeant to the skies, sure. Yeah, I, I don't even think I'm cycling it. I, I don't have a benefit other than like looking at a new card, so. Um oh, it doesn't fly, it just attacks. Ah, I'm just gonna take the five, I think. Get some honey. Give me that honey! Okay, so now I can attack with a gem razor because if they do want to block, they'd have to put a Patagia Tiger there. And I, I am totes down to trade with a Patagia Tiger. I'm hoping we bring the most honey. Um, yeah. Maid, I can, let me permit you, otherwise you're gonna get timed out. All right, you can post it in chat now. Hey, Kurtash, welcome, how are you? It's good to see you. We're still doing some Ikoria drafties. Ooh. Oh, did I permit the wrong person? Oh yeah, I, I see what it did, the chat moved me up a little bit. Let me permit maid, all right. Eesh. Well then, my opponent's just kind of jamming, huh? That's a lot of life, damn. Well, that's bad. We might just be dead. Yeah, I guess. Well, we can't we can't attack all tennis boy. That that is a, a you're just asking to get blown out, but you you're throwing the excavation wall into a bunch of three fours. You can send these two in. What's my line to win if you leave it back? Oh, I guess it's just to try to race them on the ground. But sending a three three into their three fours is just asinine. Let me tell you, you're not winning if you're doing that. Mm, yeah, let's get blue source. Are we Dobbs not? No, we have an excavation wall and a far finder. Yeah, there's a chance I um I cycle this and put it on the honey mammoth for next turn. Cause if we get super trample guy, uh we could also just use the super trample to win as well. But yeah, act Sending the excavation wall there is just bad. Hmm, they're worried they might get themselves killed if they attack with a Patagia Tiger. Why not hold back the one with reach? Because I think we could actually maybe kill them here. We'll see. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that too, Louise. I think we can't block anyone here and just take the hit. We might just be able to kill them if we attack with all. That's kind of the plan. All right. So. Man, we're one short. Yeah, so let's uh let's cycle the Titanoth Rex and put it on the Honey Mammoth. And then if we draw Blood Curdle, we can still win. Oh. Poop. Yeah, they, now they just killed me in the crackback. We could have drawn something sweet there. That, that almost worked out. Yeah, me. It was very close. Yeah, we almost, we almost got there. We were one off. Was that you, Zoom? Or, uh, or were you just here watching? Oh, that wasn't you. Gotcha, gotcha. That was really close. Ooh, almost rallied. 
Yeah, I sometimes I don't know Zoom because sometimes a opponent shows up from like from the game to say GG's. And so sometimes I'm like, hmm, was that my actual opponent or what? <laughs> Sounds good, Zoom Zoom. Hi. They're playing Garuda for their deck. Okay. Let's uh I wish our hand were a little less expensive. Let's keep it though. So they can only even, right? Cards with inverted even mana cost, sure. No, no chimp. They can't even. It is them. It was them all along. We need to draw... I mean, they're gonna definitely play a two here if they're playing Garuda, so then we can deadweight the next thing. I know, I'm hoping it's not a glimmer bell is what I was gonna say. Oh, brutal. Let me cycle this guy. Got a honey mammoth and no land. Okay, we need to hit a land next turn so badly. Hey, Nimbus Nomad, thank you. I appreciate that. That is very kind of you. Hola, senorita. Hi, Firefly. Welcome. So they're gonna have a two here. Oh, they didn't have anything. Thank you! Amazing! Let's lead on the Wild Bonder, I think. Because it looks like they might have a little counter action here. Yeah, that makes sense, Zoom Zoom. I like it when my opponent joins after the match. I think it's sweet, but it's hard to know because I don't, I, I don't always look at my opponent's name, so sometimes I forget what their name was when they go into the match. I think they're thinking about countering this. It's totally worth doing it. It's like a card. That's pretty good. Wait, Kirik, isn't Void Winnower odd though? Isn't it like nine mana? Maybe it's ten. Oh, that's true, Mofongo. I have like the greater sandworms are still in there. Um I have some small ones. I have like the humble naturalist is in there, the durable coil bug is also there. I don't remember. Maybe it's eleven. Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, that's fine, I suppose. It's nine. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure it was odd. Because I remember the joke that that one's the one that couldn't even. Come on, Gooby, draw land! Uh... Hmm. I just play this now. Get a... What kind of source do we want? Do we want a blue source? We already have the triple green for the Kogla. I feel like the blue source is just so... I don't want to get messed up by not having another black source. I'm just going to play the black source. Not even going to deadweight that thing. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> okay, well, they didn't do anything on turn four, so I'm kind of curious about what they're planning on doing on turn five. Tigerilla, okay, that one we're gonna want to deadweight probs. We can deadweight and then ram through it, maybe. <laughs> I mean, if I draw a land, I think I'm just gonna go like. I guess if we don't draw land, we're gonna go Wild Bonder into Deadweight that thing. If we do, we might just play Honey Mammoth. I still think we just go Wild Bonder into. Oh, you know what I can do? I can actually attack. Is it worth Deadweighting? I could Gem Razor. Oh, I could Gem Razor Ram through, huh? Um, it's a, okay, I can't do it anymore because I'm already attacking. I, I really doubt they're gonna block though. It's so suspicious. Bujango, thank you so much for the 42. I appreciate that. 42. 
Best number. Attack first also is fine. I really think the follow-up is just gonna be Wild Bonder and then deadweight that thing. It doesn't- it really doesn't matter. Like, once it's so small, we don't even care for it. Yeah, super not suspicious. Totally just attacking my 1-1 one, one into 4-3. Nothing else. Move along now. Thank you so much, Bujanga. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. Yeah, it really is, Yuka. That's the other thing is once we hit a land, or even if we don't, we're we're just our our hands like pretty thick. We have to use our manas. That one I am very interested in ramming through. Oh, they didn't play the Garuda. Yeah, that's suspicious. Oh, they're stealing my thingy. So they're hitting me with everyone. Is that even that good for them? Yeah, I don't know about that play, Molly. It kind of feels like getting Garuda down might have just been better, but whatever. Um, so I definitely, definitely want to get the Pyroceratops off the board. So to do that, we can hard cast Gem Razor because there's not even like a real reason to put it on the Far Finder and then we can just ram through it. Um, alternatively, when it ETBs, it fights up to- Oh, I can just have it Kogla fight the Pyroceratops. That's even better. Yeah, good call, Chad. Good call. I think- I always think about the enchantment removal part of this. I forget it just like fights when it ETBs. It's kind of obscene. The answer is always Kogla. Also always Garuda. Yep. Yeah, this is gonna work out really well because then we can also ram through- because ram through is a punch, not fight. So it's going to work out really well with um, when they actually play their Garuda. Because we're just going to be able to answer it immediately and play a Jam Razor. We might be even... We might even mutate it onto the Far Finder. So it's going to basically have haste. <laughs> yeah, Tears of Kiss. So some of these cards kind of work like that, right? You just remember one side or not the other side. Yeah, jam classic Jam Razors. They have to play Garuda now, right? They got to. Maybe they forgot about their Garuda. They ha they ha they have to cast it though, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see what they hit. Uh, they hit a four on their side. I hit a four. On oh no, my back for more. So they're going to get the four three. That's what they're going to get back. And I guess I now have a coil bug in my yard, which is not nothing. They have no artifacts or enchantments. Uh, let me see. The shooter Oh, it's whenever Kogla attacks, destroy target. It's target, so I'm sure you can, I think you can decline if it's. Yeah, also they don't have anything. We have a dead weight, but they don't control it. It's still ours. Oh, is this Mythos any good? Do we get anything good back? Nah. So step one, ram through. Oh, they have a cycler or something. It could get back to sandworms. I kind of feel like we rather just have creatures in the board, though. Like, we could we could mutate this and just hit with everybody, and it's actually lethal, so it forces them to make some blocks. Wait, why would you mutate the gem razor on Kogla? Oh, okay, okay, you change your mind. Gotcha, I was like, it's so much better to put it on the fi far finder. Why do it now? Because it gives it haste, essentially. It 
Is the gem razor a May? Oh, that's funny. This one also has the trample thing. Let me see the rest of it. It's target, artifact, or enchantment opponent controls. Yeah, so none of these are going to affect us negatively. All right, that looks pretty good. Yeah, they, they could kill us if they have a combo of like um, a way to give Trample to Glimmerbell and something huge to put on it because the Proudwell Bonder has a Super Trample. No, there was no lethal. There, It was lethal if they didn't block, which was good because it meant that they were forced to block with one of their things. Mutate gem onto Kogla, ram through the 2 1 send Kogla and Bonder 17 damage. Oh, was it really lethal if we did that? Oh man, they are. Yeah, they would have their 6 6 if, if we did that. Oh, we assigned Trample? I guess we can just Trample the Kogla, leave the Kogla on top. What was our life total? Because we could hit with a Kogla, the Gem Razor, and I guess we had the Proud Bonder too. So the Farfinder doesn't get in there, and we'd head for 14. But then aren't we missing damage? Because I don't think we have enough, right? Um, let's attack with both. Oh, because Ram through. Oh, that's right, because Ram through has trample. All right, yeah, so I guess if we Ram through and then they don't have anything and we just put it on the Kogla, we, we can super trample to win. Funny. What is our plan here? They haven't had much of a plan, it seems like. Just play Honey Mammoth. Wait, is Honey Mammoth the best we can do? Oh, I mean, it's worth talking about. I think I think if we did actually have confirmed lethal, we should have probably gone for that. I think I'm just going to play Honey Mammoth. I'd rather be at a higher life total. Because I feel like at this point we only die to something really stupid. Sure. Okay, so now they still have to deal with Honey Mammoth and Gem Razor. And Gem Razor also even has reach. <laughs> oh my gosh, Slumars. Something, something about a clock being right twice a day or something. They can't even really hit here. What's your plan? You can't attack. My thing has reach. Oh, shoot. Okay, see, that's why I wanted to be at a higher life total. I didn't want to die to some bullshit like that. I'm just taking six. Yeah, they can't even send it with Glimmer Bell and Dragon. Ooh, is this the lifelink one? Oh, baby. Do the thing. <laughs> so we can put that on the Honey Mammoth, and then they are. It's like so hard for them to race us. I guess they have a lot of tentative connections, so. Who knows? <laughs> Slumars, that's really good. Let's go ahead and send with both. So they have to block both. Yeah, they're in just such a bad spot. They're going to lose both of them.
Uh, does Mythos get some stuff? We might as well get some stuff back. Get back, Kogla. Get back, Proud Bonder. Yeah, that's true, Wolf. Let's get in there, team! Bam, we did it! You're good, man. Love to see it. Yeah, t how do you like me now, Garuda? Um, what time is it? 7.45, I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna go eat some food. Alrighty, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it as always. I love checking in with people and seeing how everyone's doing in quarantine times. It's good to know that people are staying safe and had good weekends for the most part, you know, giving everything considered. Yeah, lady, Tango Harambe. I'm soups hungry. Let me go ahead and see who's streaming so I can send you on further streaming adventures. Oh, I'm going to host you. I'm going to send you all to my teammate, Martin. Martin Yuza. He is playing Standard and Monday metagame later. Also, I God knows what time it is for Martin. Because that's just got to be so late his time. Or early. Who knows? Martin has like a degenerate stream schedule. Let me get this raid started. If you've never raided with us before, it's super easy. You copy the snakes with the sword or the Komodo hype on the rocket ship. And when we get over to Martin's stream, we're just going to spam that in his chat, okay? Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Hello, everybody on YouTube. Well, welcome back. We uh, split the recording into two days, so we're going to go back into uh, round three, I want to say. Yes, let's do it. You remember when cons came out, people were... I do remember that Dokomo. I actually thought those names were okay. There were some names that really didn't take for, like, shards. What were they called? They were super old. They're from, like, they, they date me. They're, like... They had really stupid names. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Or you can keep this one. Yeah, Jumbi, I kind of feel the same. Yes, Anna, Dega, Necra. Those, those, those. You knew, you knew Wolf's Ark. Those also just like did not take. I feel like they were stupid and nobody liked them. <laughs> I think the problem with knowing the names is that you never see them. They're mythics in draft and not played much in standard. Yeah, I guess that is weird when your like set of mythics just like isn't, doesn't get that much play, I suppose. Yeah, those Dredgy Boy, Dega, Necra, Raka, Seta, I mean, they're all... Oh, I thought I added it narbly. It must have not gone through. Let me look at it. Oh, it didn't go through, but it's okay. There, It's through now. That's weird. I tried it when, when you posted it on Discord earlier. Chat, I have a little announcement. We are going to be playing some at golf this weekend. Not this weekend, actually, on Friday. Um... On Friday, we're doing community day. So if you have golf with friends, I would love for you to join us. It's going to be great. Plus, now we have golfers, thanks to Narbly. Emote scientist at Narbly with, uh, with golfers. The golfers technology. Um, I feel like maybe we just jam. Um, yeah, because I'm going to play the Wild Bonder next turn anyway, so maybe we just, um... Yeah, we're just going to jam. Come on and slam. Oh, I'm not very good at it, so you're, you're Gucci. You can play up to 12 players, and I'll figure out some courses and some a rule set that makes sense for everybody, but it's super fun, and I thought it would be a, a cool thing for us to try for Community Day, because it's always, like, some combination of, like... Um, Jackbox games and stuff like that, and they thought golf would actually be pretty fun. Razakun! Yeah, Zero, don't worry. By default, I think our thing is gonna be no, no pros allowed. <laughs> Just straight up. Let me hit with my GM Razor. We're kind of crushing. Thank you so much, Razakun, for the nine months. I really appreciate it. Choo choo! Oh no. What does that thing do? It puts a plus one plus one counter when it mutates. Um, this gives trample, is that right? Um, interesting. 
So they both have trample. We could technically trample for eight here if we wanted. I think we have to pre-combat deadweight the parcel beast. That way they can't actually double block anything. I guess they could double block my Pryled Wild Bonder and then they could just kill the Parcel Beast, which is okay. Um, yeah, that sounds fine. Hey, Afro, welcome. How are you doing? It is good to see you. That's awesome, Razakun. I love it. Yeah, so if they want to double block, I can just kill the Parcel Beast, which is... It's A-OK -okay by us. Okay. Let's block like that. You are, Volmerson. I can certainly do a twisty for her. Jules! Come here, puppy. You want a treaty? Assign damage as though it weren't blocked. No, I actually want to kill it. Um... Do we just want to get the Proud Wanderer back? I guess we could cycle. Jules, come here! Good girl. She is a good girl. Hi, Julita. Sit. Down. Down. Good girl. Uh, this is already has trample. Yeah, you know what? This is fine. Choose up to two. It's permanent cards, right? So I can get both back. That seems okay. Oh, that's cute, feline. I know that life. The like, oh no, I have to go do something, but I have a dog on my lap right now. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wow. They they copied me. Um, Smokey! You don't know why, but this is the only channel I never get a notification for. No, Smokey, that's so bad. Are you sure you have them on? Like, are you sure they're, they're turned on? Cause I've I've had that problem in a bunch of other channels too. Like it does it does just happen. Um hey Magic Fanatic, what does she have? She has Yeah, smash the bell button. These are all the treats that she gets, Magic Fanatic. They're, most of them are like teeth treats, kind of. Um I think the plan is to just Dead away that thing. Um and then play this guy. Yeah. And then I think they can't really block profitably and just be in a, in a rough spot. Oh, baby, not dog. Lol, feline. <laughs> That's even more so. Uh, but yeah, Magic Fanatic, she has greenies, which is she's actually almost out of. I have to get them in an order. Um, she has dentist sticks, which are just kind of like a chewy treat. That's good for her gums. She has twist twisties, which are the same. It has like dried chicken and like dried beef, I think, and like a roll. Combos are just like a little snack, and the milk bones are just a little dry snack. Oh, this looks pretty good. I like it, feeling. That's pretty sweet. You have notifications turned on, but for some reason, I never get notifications for streams. It's okay, Loki. I appreciate the effort you do to show up here. It's really good to see you. Hope you're having a good one. Um, if you if you don't get them on on Twitch, I know some people use notifications from Discord. Um, because some Discords automatically ping. So I have a I have a room that automatically pings everybody and like people can just mute it if they don't want it obviously but that is a feature of the Discord. No. Could be going to wrong evil folder or something like that. Yeah. Oh, they have a triome. The Zagoth triome. It's the Sultai triome. Yeah, after our deck is pretty pretty beefy. I think we've got some we've got some chunk for sure. Let's go humble naturalist. How's everybody's day going? My, uh, my upgrade the patio day was a bust. It was bad. It was clearly above our pay grade. We couldn't really hand any of the string lights. Oh, beer mystic. That sounds really good. What percentage of magic players have actually learned the trial names? I'm not even close. 
I know, I'm so sad. I bought these like cute string lights. They were solar powered and everything. And then I got these clips to hang them and they're a disaster. They do not work. So after like spending a bunch of time putting them up, really, they're just jamming. Um, what, what, what is like really bad for me here? I kind of, kind of want to, I guess it's not worth it, man. No, d -Lark, bummer. Oh, and now I'm really glad that we, um, didn't block because it, it they almost certainly have something now i can just put my wild bonder command hooks for outdoors do a pretty good job those are the ones i used jumpy <laughs> i used outdoor command hooks that's literally what i bought and uh none of it worked out so it all ended up with me just taking them all down so that's kind of a, a bummer slash bust uh I think we can kick it off. We have one, two, three, four. We can definitely kick it off with dead weeding this thing because it kind of feels like they might have some tricksies. Bummer bust would be a good split card. Lol. It could be divine arrow too, yeah. Hey Adeka, welcome, how you doing? The plus one, the one mana combat trick that was indestructible. Oh, the one that's for like a creature and a non-creature or something like that. So. It's pausing every time, so it's not necessarily just an attacker or blocker. So I think my plan is to just hit with a wild bonder. Yeah, fight is one. Yeah, that's that's the one. I'm going to attack with a wild bonder and if they kill it, I'm just going to. I was gonna Mythos back this and this guy. Given that that didn't happen, now I can just play a Swamp and we'll probably still cycle the Titanoth Rex. Oh, maybe I should have done it just now in case we hit a 2-drop. We could have hit the Durable Coil Bug. Resolves. You hit 100k rupees? Oh, Naturalist is only creatures. You're right about that. Ah, uh, well, you have Trample, so I might as well give this thing Trample. That's really cool, NFC. Love to see it. Oh, hello. That is a pretty cool one. Yeah, even so, even if they cycle one, I still get to eat them. That seems pretty good to me. I feel like we should do it. Yeah, well, we drew we drew our bomb. He's pretty cool. I thought I had the alt art for this thing. I wonder what happened. Yeah, totally, Molly. I feel like we're in great shape even if they actually manage to take down our Kogla. Okay, well, that's one. Ain't no thing. Love it. Attack. Wow, my opponent's super dead. I think there is an altar for Kogla, right? Or maybe there isn't because this one's already like King Kong. Maybe there isn't at all. Maybe I'm making it up. Well, that was stupid. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. How about that skill game, Molly? Eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm gonna wait until I can cast the Greater Sandworm. I don't think I really want to get the Titanoth Rex and Deadweight back yet. Alright, come on, let's hit a land. Mm. I really should have stun luck. I punted. I mega punted. I'm just gonna run this out. We're gonna hit a land soon here. <laughs> I kind of was Molly. See, it's a true skill being able to flip the table, but I feel like I'm pretty good at it. I, I, I am getting just mega baited though. Alright, give me a land. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So let's attack with a Duskfang Mentor. The nice thing about this, too, is now I can entomb something that I actually want. Like, what do we want to entomb? We can entomb... Honey Mammoth? Honey Mammoth looks pretty darn good. Kogla, 
Kuglan would have been good here. Feels bad, man. Unknown is making my lack of ape feel, feel sting. It hella stings, man. Oh no. Well, now I can get that back and also maybe like the honey mammoth. How close are we to playing Titanoth? It's nine mana and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So close. Hey, MTG, welcome. All right, so step one, let's hit with a Dusk Fan Mentor. Yeah, I think I'm going to get back the Greater Sandworm and the Titanoth. That might be overkill, honestly. I don't... Attack. I can't believe they had this. It's a rare, and it, every creature we had was odd, or even. Yeah, I kind of feel that too, Smokey. I feel like one of the modes should be like reanimate if you if you get there, you know. Uh, let me pay with Sultai. What do they have in hand? Is it convolute and I can play around everything? If so, that's really funny. Um. Oh, so hold on. It's two permanent cards. Nah, back for more is an instant, so that doesn't work. So we can get the greater sandworm. Oh, this is from our hand. I see. From our deck. So we can get the... Do we even want to get anything in the yard? I might just entomb something shitty. Yeah, Molly, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, what if I just entomb the durable coil bug just so that it's in the yard? And then I bring back Sandworm and Titanoth Rex. Bam. And yeah, Coil Bug is totally like a, a sweet one to put in the yard. And then I'll hold on to these because next turn I can play my Greater Sandworm. And can I bring this guy back? It's five mana, bummer. Sure. Kind of feels like they have Convolute in their hand. I don't know why. I guess if they kill my Sandworm, like, that's n ain't no thing. Oh, that's pretty good. So return target human creature card from a graveyard and non-human. Do I have any humans there? No. So let's start by attacking. You think they're setting up Flare? Yeah, that would make some sense. Let's play the greatest Sandworm. Yeah. How many do they have in the yard? Nine. So they would need double Zenith Flare to kill me. Yeah, Wolf Sark, the fact that they got to... You know, if they're setting up Zenith Flare, maybe the play wasn't to entomb the durable Quill Bug. Maybe it was to entomb the Honey Mammoth. And then bring back the Honey Mammoth. And then Honey Mammoth also gets us like four more so that we're out of range. Hi, Josh. Welcome. It's good to see you. How you doing? Yeah, Jumpy, I've had that happen a couple times where you start out with the Zenith Flare and you're like, wow, we're going to crush it. And then you just don't crush it. Not even close. <laughs> flare and Apex Monster Ultimatum. That's my read on what they're up to. Yeah, I really think it's just Zenith Flare. We have to finish this game quickly for this to work. Is cycling like adventures where it goes in tag but you can play it normally? No, Firefly, you, if you cycle it, it's gone. You, you To pay the cycling cost, you discard the card. Oh man, Josh, lol. Okay, them Zenith flaring my thing is actually fine because now I can play this guy. I was worried they might kill me. That was my biggest concern. If they had two of them and they just like shot one in my face and then shot it again, like that would be pretty bad. Hey Peza, welcome. It's good to see you. How you doing? I do not like getting shot in the face either. How many cards left in opponent's deck? Oh, they gotta be down to... 
down to 12 and there's 15 in the yard. So if they cycle three more and have a Zenith Flutter, they do actually kill me. Let me see if there's anything I can do to... If I could kill this, I could Survivor's Bond to get this back and give this lifelink, but I can't do that at the moment. This currently only gets back uh, the Greater Sandworm, so we could give that thing Trample. That doesn't really do him a lot. Oh, no. Okay. Yes, if if Flare cycled, I don't know. We would just be so dubs. <laughs> All right, because they did that, I think um, I think we can attack with a Dusk Fang Mentor because Survivor's Bond buys all this back. Cool, cool. So now we can Survivor's Bond to get back. Um, Greater Sandworm and the Mentor. Choose options. Human and non-human. Dusk Fang Mentor, Greater Sandworm. I wish I could kill the Moloch. Unfortunately, I can't. So let me just go this guy. And then next turn, do I care about the Moloch having... No, I don't think so. Oh, did, did Zenith Flare also have cycling during the R&D process? Did, did you see that stunlock? Because that's wild. If that's the case. Okay, so now we just kill that thing. Oh, they didn't have any cyclers. Funny. And then we can also put that there and jam. Nice. Okay. We also got to gain the life too. Someone made a post that Melissa DeTorres said they took cycling off a of flare in MTG Nerd Girls chat. Wow. That card having cycling would be so stupid with a Moloch. I would hate it. It's already like pretty obscene, right? You saw that Melissa said her contribution to Ikoria was moving cycling from it? That's a great contribution. She crushed it. <laughs> High five, Melissa. Bam. Can you imagine how obnoxious this format would be if that card had cycling and you could just buy it back with Moloch? It would be awful. Uh, we get to use some masteries. Let's see. Our last one is the Vadrock, which we've never really had. We can get Wingspan Mentor. Let's see if there's any cards in our deck that we could actually upgrade right now. No. 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 These are also medium. I guess Wingspan Mentor we'll use. <laughs> That's cute, feline. Oh, look at that. I got the Leosar Cub. I think I reached the proper level. Julie sometimes tries to get cold drinks by drinking out of the um, toilet, but we obviously don't let her. Sometimes we just put some, like, ice cubes in her water, and she seems pretty happy with that. Yeah, Deca, they're really medium, right? It's not just me. I've, I'm looking at the rewards, and I was just, like, not impressed. Yeah, exa exactly, Penguin. You're like, well... I guess that was okay run, I suppose. So I guess we will kill something of theirs on two, most likely. Then play Excavation Mole into Duskfang Mentor. Seems not bad. One of your dogs looks size, the other one looks at you like, You're trying to kill her with it, so cute! Will of the All Hunter, what does this do again? Targetia gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's blocking, instead put two plus one, plus one, plus one counters on it. Okay. Let's still do that. What did we bin? Oh no, we bin one of our reanimate spells. We also bin the gem razor, so if we ever get the soul tie thing, we might be able to get it back. Oh, that's cute, Narvely. Sometimes what I've done with Julie is I've made uh, chicken stock that doesn't have, like, onion powder in it. And I'll 
put that in like an ice cube thing and then I'll just like let her like eat that outside and she she loves it because it tastes like chicken stock you know um I don't really know what they're up to here it's like pretty pretty these two wingspan mentor and put the thing on here and and just jam so if they don't have fire prophecy I guess we're like doing okay oh bummer yeah, you. the only thing you have to be careful with, Narbly, is that dogs can't have onion stuffs, so onion powder. Like, you actually have to look pretty pretty carefully at the label when you're buying that stuff for your doggy. Did I call it Wingspang Mentor? I, Duskfang, whatever, they all sound the same. <laughs> They're all the same thing. Um, let me attack and see if they block, because I can deadweight it. Nice, nice. So, what do we want to do here? Probably cycle. We probably want to cycle the sandworm, right? We're not close to casting it. Okay, we played a coil bug. And now next turn we can play the honey mammoth. That sounds okay. They're kind of odd foils, um, that guy. It's the full art stuff. Those are, that's like the equivalent of foils on Arena. Foils, obviously, I think real life foils are just way sweeter. Everything is stupid dino face. Yeah, I mean, basically. Oh, no. Whenever this mutates, what happens? Ooh, okay. And it's got VG. Well, that was a really, really good draw. So sick. Bye bye. Put him in his counter on creature you control. Yeah, let's put on the coil bug. Yeah, we got really lucky to cut. I think that's the only answer in our entire deck. Like, <laughs> we don't have anything else. Oh, we have back for more if we had something huge in the yard, which we do actually. Um, this I don't have any life linkies, but I do have this with Minasi. Hey, Lorawai, thank you so much for coming in from the YouTube. I really appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. We're doing some Ikoria drafts. Oh yeah, Big Ape could actually fight that thing. But we would have needed the Big Ape like right there. Also, we don't have the mana to cast the Big Ape, right? Isn't he GGG? No, my honey mammoth, no! How dare you? Yes, it was actually GGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGGG
durable coil bug the the like next level play is to put it on the honey mammoth because we do have the gem razor and if we find a way to reanimate that and we get to mutate it we get to blow up the enchantment and honey mammoth can attack again but that's not happening at the moment so let me go into attacks I do think I want to kill the Parcel Beast or the Wingspan Mentor, so if we attack with both, we'll, I think, be able to get one of them with dead weight. What deck was I playing? I was playing uh, Jeskai Fires, Lorewai, but it was not... I did not enjoy it. Alright, real talk. Who do we want to kill? Parcel Beast is a lot of value. I think Parcel Beast is more value than the Wingspan Mentor, so I think we just go like that. Just got fire without the fires. Yeah, that's basically what I played. It was really bad. Sure. It was not a land because they didn't put it in play. Okay. Now, well, plus we get to buy that, th that guy back. So that isn't a disaster. We get to kill a parcel beast. Might as well get the farfinder going. Get a land. If we get the blue land, we'll be set up for the Mythos, and uh, I can buy this guy back next turn if we don't draw anything. Yeah, Feline, totally agree. I I don't know. I It's obviously like a very powerful deck, but I feel like the games, all the games where you don't draw your Jeskai Fires or your Fires of Invention, you're just like, why am I playing this deck? This is miserable. Oh no, Lord Dracus is going to get back Divine Arrow or Will of the All Hunter. Yeah, feeling it just doesn't work, right? It's just awful. Yeah, it, it is lol's precipice. Also, I really don't like all the Bant Yorium pile decks. I think they're really unfun to play against. Oh no, they have another Majestic Unicorn. That's bad for me. They're going ham on this thing. And also, we don't have... We're out of removal spells. God, I would have loved that they hit with this thing. That would make me very happy. They're the woke. Yeah, I don't know, Molly. I kind of feel like the standard format ain't for me. Which is totally fine. There's so much stuff to play when a new set's out anyway. I don't know, Dekka. There's so many of them. All the salt, all the like Bant Yorion decks or like four color Yorion piles are just so not fun. They're really demoralizing to play against. Mm. I mean, do the best with what we got. Get in there, Excavation Mole. Yep, they chose not to hit. Nah, they don't have arrow right now because they, they have both of these, but they um they don't have enough mana at the moment. We can buy this back and replay it, but man, we are just not in good shape. Yeah, Precipice, I actually wanna I actually wanna try playing some historic. I mean I've I've really been enjoying the limited format right now, which is part of the reason I'm still playing it but so this has flying vg and it does have the tap ability for one and they'll also be able to put target you plus two plus two turn if it's blocking instead put two plus one plus one counters on it e... i guess i do kind of want to slow them down so we might as well play the dead weight <laughs> That's gaspy line. Yeah, there goes our coil bug. How many times is this a mutated? Like three times? Mutations, Porcupine, or Lord Dracus. Yeah, precipice. I do think the the the, the cycling deck gets boring just because so many people are drafting it. I feel like it is pretty overdrafted. But I think outside of that, the format is pretty fun. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't really... We just cast this. They have, like, all the mana for the Will of the All Hunter and the Divine Arrow and stuff, so... I feel like we can't really attack here. They're gonna shoot down my Farfinder, probably. I mean, they might just go at me. The thing goes at anything. They're actually giving me some outs so that if I draw the Kogla, I think we might be in okay shape. Oh, I don't have the other green source. Bummer. I love having stipulation drafts be optional play, and I can't wait for the companion and cube. Yeah, companion and cube might be fun. Oh no, rumbling rock slide is bad. We need our soul tie reanimator thing. <gasps> Janus! Janus, how are you? Holy moly, my opponent's going off. Jules Lita. Oh wow, that's not what I meant to. <laughs> that's not what I meant to click. No, it's not. It's not. Ooh, they tapped out. Holy moly, they gave me a chance. Julita, shake. Down. Oh, you're such a good girl. Here you go, Jules. I mean, I guess they knew I wasn't drawing anything, so... Target creature targets you. Kroger's gonna be a hard step in cube. I don't even know if you can actually do that in cube. It seems really difficult. Those decks sometimes are winning by turn three, you know? Okay, so they are gonna take down my excavation mole, sadly. But I still get to take it down, and they're done. So now they have the Rock Slide, the Will of the All Hunter, and the Divine Arrow, which obviously is bad for us. We can send with this guy. They probably will block. Oh yeah, they actually know I have nothing in my hand. Hoi. Hoi, Poochie. Look at how cute she is. Look at her right here. Oh, look at her. Hoi. Hoi. Hi, cutie. Yep. And... Get this back. Can't really play it. Oh, I guess I should have done that at the end of my turn. Alright, they have a million spells because they did get to mutate that thing like four times, but all of them are really reactive spells. So we, we could rally, maybe. Yeah, I could see that precipice. I got such a funny comment on my YouTube the other day. Somebody was like... Let me see if I have the comment. It's literally... Okay, they say, At 1853 pack 3, second to last pick, you took LED over Wilderness Reclamation. Would have loved to see it played alongside Expansion Explosion. It could also adapt the Terramander. Lol. Which I have to assume is a joke. Like, that person can't be serious. <laughs> I feel like they can't possibly be serious. Okay, now we can't Divine Arrow. They have rock, rock Slide and then they have Will of the All Hunter. So let's not do anything. We just have to wait to draw one of our bangers. I kind of feel like it cannot possibly be serious. It's really funny though. Oh, they cycle the Will. That's good for us. They still have Divine Arrow and Rock Slide. Rock Lobster. Yeah, Precipice. We should be getting Arena Cube soon. Oh my lord. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Alano, I got a comment on my YouTube. I can read you the comment again. The comments at the following. At 1853, pack three second to last pick, you took LED over Wilderness Reclamation. Would have loved to see it played alongside Expansion Explosion. It could also help adapt Terramander. Lol. Which makes me feel like there's no way they're being serious. Um, my turn. Okay, there's the Mythos. So what's our plan? Um... Currently, I only have one turn. So I have to draw... I have to entomb... Kogla... 
and reanimate gem razor so that I can free up my honey mammoth. What's the blue in the deck for? For this, literally this right now. Yeah, so we want to entomb the Kogla. And we need to draw a green source. And then to return from the yard, I think we need the gem razor and the Kogla as well. I know I can't cast Kogla, I'm aware. I know, I know. It's really bad. Um, we've been like pretty green screwed. Kogla plus forest? Narbly, it entombs. I don't... Oh. Is it any permanent? I guess I could have done that. Oh, yeah, it is permanence. Yeah, so I, I guess maybe we could have done that. Yeah. All right, now I guess we're at the mercy of the... No attacks. Hey, welcome back, Beast Miss. Yeah, there, there should be forest in there. There's nine. Oh, they messed up. They forgot to pump. Yeah, they, they missed it. They missed it. Which is good because now we have a turn to draw like the, the, the something for the Kogla. The green source for the Kogla. Yeah, I, th I think that's like an easy oversight to make, Deca. Though they could have pumped there too. Um, green source! Oh, shoot. Hold on, what do we have in there? Do we have a greater sandworm? We do. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. You do it. Fights another target creature you don't control. That works. So. Oh, I have the 11-11. Gas. I want to do it this turn so that they don't have access to the rumbling rock slide. I think that's better. Um, And this, I might have to go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Like, I think I might go like this. Bring back Titanoth Rex. Uh, Lorway, I think we're like 3 1 or 3 2, something like that. He's back for more, baby! I hope we're about to rally. I mean, this is like, that's the whole joke with putting this card in your decks to be able to do this. Half. Yeah, Rock Slide doesn't kill it yet, does it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That doesn't do anything. They clearly knew how to do it because, I mean, see, they know that it works, so I don't really know what happened. Oh my gosh, no! That was their last card? No! Oh, they punted. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We're good. We just we just need to not be dead. <laughs> uh, let me play this, and then I'm not even gonna attack with these two because they have rumbling rock slide. Okay, okay, we're, we're Gucci. It still means that their Yorion died, but that's ain't no thing. I am sad that we're not going to get the Honey Mammoth back. Oh, thank you. There we go. So let's Kogla to fight the... Um, Naturalist doesn't even really do anything. I can just Kogla to fight the... Um, yeah, I might I might end up doing that. I It eats all my mana right now to do this. Yeah, let me get the Wingspan Mentor. I think that one's just worse. Or like better, rather. All right, so we don't want to attack here, and next turn we can bounce the Duskfang Mentor to give this guy lifelink, maybe? I guess they're actually, it's... Bummer. They're gonna just rock slide it, sadly, so it's just gonna die. But I guess we kind of had to do this, huh? Maybe we could have slow rolled to wait until we had a third green source, and then we played it? That, that would have been a little risky. Yeah, we didn't have green, Alana. That was kind of our prob problema. Um, 
think we just hard cast this fool. Well, this is Divine Arrow for four. Yeah, maybe Wolf. I, 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 we would, did run the risk is that if they can ever get a creature through, that's like pretty bad for us, you know? Um, hey, Rapunzel, welcome. I think we just hard cast them. We're not even gonna... Not even gonna attack with a coil bug. Yeah, maybe the play was to just run this out. The one thing is they have it covered because they have the divine arrow, so. That is fine. Oh, that's true. They did know about both cards. Yeah, you're right. That's not going to work out the way we wanted to. All right, we don't have a tax here once more. What do we need to draw? Just another one of our greater sandworms. Um... What else do we have? Proud Wild Bonder would be good here. I think we already been Survivor's Bond. Just like something that we can leave at home, basically. 19 cards, they have 13 cards. Duskfang number two would be good. Yeah, we just need like, we just need like a little something. And for them not to have a flyer. But we, do, we don't have good attacks, especially not with this Divine Arrow right there. Could also try to deck them. Like, that's a thing. We even have enough time to play our moles because we're so far ahead on deck damages. Don't you have five cards? Oh, shoot, you're right. Bun, you're totally right. We have four cards. What? It, what? I was hovering over this and it made me feel like we had... <laughs> so... Wow. We're just dobs. What do we do? We can't attack with a gem razor. Let's see what's left in our deck. This changes things dramatically. We have... Oh no, both Sandworms are already in the yard too, and so is the Survivor's Bond. We might actually just be dead. We might have run out of things that can do anything. Do we have a sandworm left? I think we're out of sandworms. Oh yeah, we do have one sandworm left. Uh, can't even attack. We should also have a dusk fang left. So we get to go dusk fang into Oh, that's a disaster. Well, there he is, but now the checkpoint officer just taps it. We have two cards left. So that's 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, and there's two dead weights, and I think we've used both. Yeah, both are there. Oh, man. Where's, yeah, where's my lab maniac when I need it? So, I think the last card left is a Dusk, Dusk Fang Mentor. I mean,. I'm gonna just see if they misplay. <laughs> yeah, there it is. You have two cards left. We just also don't... It, maybe we had it shot if they didn't have a checkpoint officer. There's no way we're gonna have enough time. It also doesn't even have trample, so I couldn't even go like because Duskfang Mentor can once we have a lifelink counter on something, we can start putting like more plus one plus one on it, you know? No, actual factual dead. So we were just always dead, as long as we had a small creature. The Duskfang Mentors would have kept us alive, funnily enough. So we're three two. We can rally. That was a silly game. That game was fun. Uh, yeah, can you imagine? It was so obvious that we were going to deck ourselves too. Uh, we'll keep this since we have a Farfinder. Duskfang Mentor also. Just need to get a green source.
I can't believe we got spell trampled. <laughs> Horrible. It's funny because our deck does have a lot of recursion, but we milled some of it and then we were behind for so much of that game too, you know? Okay, well, we need to cycle the sandworm to try to hit a land drop for the Farfinder. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Lorewai. I like the, the shirt. It's um like, I think it's called Cold Shoulder when you do don't have shoulders. All right, we hit a swamp, which is fine because then we can play swamp and play Farfinder. And get a green source. Take action, green source. Love it. God, that spell trample card is funny. Because they can't just like hit you face. Like you actually need to have something in play for it to work. <laughs> hmm. I do kind of want to try to kill the Fertilid, can we? No, not really. Our turn is actually kind of awkward. We can put a plus one, plus one counter on, or a lifelink counter on the Farfinder, and that's kind of... I, I guess we could just hard cast Gem Razor. Maybe that's just better. Just straight up. Don't attack. Oh, that's really nice, Lorewai. That's 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 awesome. They, that hasn't been happening here in the U.S. Destroy target with no counters on it. No, my gem razor. That is just rude. So here's an actual question: Should I block with Farfinder? What is the rest of their turn? Because if they're planning on activating the Fertilid, attacking and then activating the Fertilid, if I block with a Farfinder, they can't do that anymore. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do it. Oh, yeah, they just activate on our turn. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, let's not block. Yeah, Moosers, I saw the thing that you did. And it has rainbow lights. That's really cool. Yours had the together we can howl or something. I forget what the message was, right? It was the Denver, the Denver howling thing for sure. Let's just play a wild bonder. <laughs> that was a five headline. Oh no, don't tell me they have us in scatter. Come on. It says together we can and in the center there's a... Yeah. Together we can moose around sounds pretty good. Hey, Slubar. Slubars, how's your dinner? I was so jealous. It looked amazing. I'll attack with Farfinder. I hope they play something big and then uh, then my uh, sandworm is going to come back for some more. Ben! Oh my gosh. Don't worry about the drive-by rating. Go do your thing. I really, really appreciate you sending your community this way. Welcome, friends. Hey, Casey. Hey, Leon. Hey, y'all. Hey, time to fry. Welcome, friends. We are playing some Ikoria Rigged draft over here. We got a kind of recursive deck with, oh no, Honey Mammoth ate my, my wild bonder. It's okay, because we're going to eat the Honey Mammoth next. Oh, Arik, do you have pictures? Kind of want to see that. Ooh, Survivor's Bond's not bad. We have... Hmm. It's kind of awkward, because I really want to get... Like, I could back... I could uh, Survivor's Bond getting the Wild Bonder and the Gem Razor back. But then they're going to be suspicious because why didn't I play my Sandworm, right? Maybe I'm not that close to casting it. Maybe that's why we will pretend to not be suspicious. So we can play a forest. Yeah, it's not like mega suspicious. It's just a little suspicious. So let's bond for both. We get Wild Bonder and Gem Razor. And maybe this is just going to look kind of legit because then we'll just go like that. And no tax. There you go. And the next thing, you know... That, uh, that worm's gonna come back for some more. You're saying discovered cooking with wine and it has changed literally everything. I love cooking with wine. So good. Ooh, they're, they're, they are suspicious. What do you know? Um. Okay, let's. One, two, three. Actually, what do they have? No, I need the 6-6 six, six and play for that, Caroline, because I want to eat that one. It's my removal spell for it, you see. I think I might just uh, mutate. Let 
No, hold on. This is regular cost. Oh no, I'm just I'm just casting it normally. That was not the plan. All right. Well, whatever. I can't hit with you. Yeah, it's fine. Also, if they try to do something, I have the ram through to kind of blow them out. Yeah, it was a good plan uh, like a while ago. <laughs> Maybe not so much anymore. They didn't... I think they would have blocked if they had the kill spell. So now I'm just going to Dusk Fang Mentor and put it on the Gem Razor or something. Now we're going to be tapped out. We're going to lure them into a false sense of security. They're going to play the Honey Mammoth and then we're going to come back for some more honey. Feline, that's really cool. What have you been cooking with wine? Cooking with wine is like... It's amazing, because all the alcohol evaporates, but you still have the, like, nice winey taste. What do they have? What is this that is so... So confusing. Get in there, both of you. Maybe it's Shore Shark, yeah. But they would have countered my Gem Razor, I think. Dirge Bat Mutate, maybe. All right, I'm just going to let this happen. Um, Destroy target. Hold on, where's my Julie thing? Jules. Come here, Jules. Oh, good puppy. Yes, good puppy. Oh, where's your treaties? Come here, Poochie. Uh, here you go. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I'm just going to let that happen. Yep, I accept. We could ram through on the Essence Symbiote. I don't know if that, like, actually does very much. Put a damage, hit for four. So... Oh yeah, Puppy always wants more treats, but we're just training her not to bark so much, so it's actually going pretty well. What else do I want to do here? I don't have Salt Eye, so I don't... I'm just going to pass. I'll probably pump up this Gem Razor in a second. I just didn't really see a reason to do it right there. Yeah, back for more is an instant. That's part of the reason I'm waiting. Migratory Great Horn. Uh... When this creature mutates, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield top, then shuffle your library. So I could let this resolve and then just back for more of that thing. It kind of feels like they're holding something. Well, if I ram it to stop the life gain, they get to keep a 3-4. That's actually fine. Yeah, let's go this and this. They'll get to keep the 3-4, which is, I think, okay. Janice, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Afternoon, Vipers. Hey, Cassie X. Welcome. Yeah, Casey, the, the puppy cam was a good addition to the stream. It took a while to get it set up, but it, now that it works, it's awesome. Yeah, it also would have been bigger and we wouldn't have been able to attack for it. What is What are they holding? They must be holding some sort of kill spell or something. I'm just going to pump up. I would. I should have just pumped before. But I kind of feel like they're holding a kill spell. So I don't really want to back for more when it's so neutralized. What does that do? It's not convolute. Because it's giving them a pause every time. I think it's a kill spell or something like that. Oh, cancel maybe? I think this is a... No, they have another blue jumpy. This is a blue as well. Just get in there. Yeah, don't worry, jumpy. Nobody knows the triumph colors. It, this is just a thing. 
I'm not even going to pump it. I'm just going to keep holding back for more. They're clearly holding something too, and they're the ones that are really far behind, so we kind of just are forcing them to, you know, make a move here. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Molly, it's so hard. Tell me that knowing which triumph color you get is like isn't the hardest thing. You just there's no way of knowing. They've slow rolled the honey mammoth so much. Okay. Now if they do want to blood curdle me, they they kind of have to like make their move now. We can send with everybody and they have to make a move on the gem razor. Then if they blood curdle a gem razor, I can return I can back for more. I can back for more of them with my 7-7, seven, seven, maybe. I think that seems okay. Hmm. Alright. Hey, Prince Bandicoot. Welcome. Oh, that's the thing they've had the entire time? It was a Blitz Leech? Um... Yeah, what's gonna happen here? I mean, I still get to kill the Migratory Great Horn and... Gem Razor dies? Oh, it removes counters on it? Remove all counters on that creature. Oh. They did it on my Blitz Leech. That's... Wait, they really targeted my Farfinder? Okay, so now I can just back for more, kill the Great Horn, and they, they just die. Uh, yeah, they just, like, really messed that up, I think. Yeah, I think they pawned. I think they just were confused about what they wanted to happen in that turn, and it just, like, wasn't... I don't know. They were, like, so excited to use the Blitz Leech the entire game that they just didn't play a Honey Mammoth, you know? Dude, who knew that Blitz Leech had double line attacks? I've literally never seen that. <laughs> so it's give a creature minus two minus two if it had counters, remove them? I guess it is a six mana creature, like, might as well get a little extra bang for your buck. Maybe bulletproof? I don't really know. Yeah, with flash, of course. It was just a really weird sequence of turns, like, the last three turns of the game were like, what is happening here? Uh, this looks okay, we just need to hit a land for Farfinder. Nice, Booney! I like that. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a really bad removal spell, to be fair. Oh, I didn't know these were slaves. I guess maybe you got this for, like, pre-ordering the set or something. Land! That's really good. That was an excellent draw. Good, Fuzzy Wuzzy. Julie's doing great. She's right there. She's got a bunch of treaties today. Um, the barking training's going really well. I'm doing pretty well. I, I, I'm frustrated because I tried to hang up these string lights on my porch and then they all fell. <laughs> it was... Especially because I spent like a good amount of hours doing this, you know? So that part was stupid. I was trying to set up our patio to look nice and homey and have string lights and... Yeah, it was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly above my pay grade. Yeah, I was also like not happy about that, Louise. It's fine. It's fine. Also, because I wanted to start streaming earlier so we could do this like so we could grill tonight, and now I ended up just firing up like later than I intended to. It's okay, Louise. Don't worry. It's it's really not a big deal. Is this cycling? Yeah, yeah. I believe this, we're playing against the cycling deck. Yeah, Lorewai, I'm actually doing fine. Like, as far as lockdown goes, I feel like it doesn't change our day-to-day -day life that much. So, um, obviously, like, not seeing anyone sucks. Uh, having difficulty getting 
like having access to good produce and stuff like that you know we don't have quite as easy access as we usually do um that's annoying yeah i think we will probably ram through the wild bonder through the dranit stinger Ooh, excavation mole, eh? I think we should go with this guy. Just go like one, two, three, and then Farfinder for a lane, and then we can ram through. Because I think the Dranus Stinger just hits you for so much damage that I don't want to... Let me take another forest. I know we have the Mythos, but I'd rather just have double green for the rest of the spells we might be needing. So you and you... Plus we got to trample a little bit, which is just a free roll. There you go. Gotcha, Lorwai, yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, like, as far as, like, sanity, it's going okay. I kind of just, I wish we were just done with it. Like, I wish we were back in living a normal life, you know? But, uh, that's part of the reason we've been doing some, like, home improvement stuff is because we wanted to, we spent so much time at home, we wanted it to look nice. Oh, no. We got Blade Banished. Oh, we Natty drew it anyways. Nothing. I guess we start with you. Oh yeah, he is gone forever, sadly. And then we'll probably also cycle the Titanoth Rex, because there's just nowhere we're actually playing that. We might bring it back for more. Uh, Trample counter. You have Trample, you don't, you don't. Let me, let's give you Trample, I suppose. Ooh, Blood Curdle's not bad. Hi, Holden. Welcome. It's good to see you. Has any of my local game stores been hosting arena drafts? No, Booney, you know, I haven't actually checked. Part of it is I am not super in touch with my local shop. All right, so we're going to bring the Titan Rex back for more. Oh, baby. Help. So I haven't actually seen if they're doing anything cool. Um, I, I kind of, I haven't been super, like, since moving to Denver, I haven't really found a shop that I feel is, like, my local shop. So, I, I have not really kept in touch with our social media or anything like that. I'm good, Holden, thanks for asking. I was telling people that I was hanging up some string lights on my porch and then they all fell. <laughs> Which was really stupid. But, you know, I'm having, like, a, like a good day outside of that. That was just frustrating. Yeah, they look super dead. They, they kind of have to hit a Zenith Flare and hit us for a million and maybe then they live. They hit me for 11, 12 maybe next turn. They're just dead next turn though. Yeah, man, Wolf, I love that Dojo f and I just, oh, they have Yadara in their deck. That's pretty cool. It doesn't really matter though. They're just dead. And Dobbs. Oh, really, Booney? That's cool. They've been doing events where they all try to queue up together and it's pretty successful. That actually sounds really fun, Booney. Somebody was mentioning that and I thought it would be cool if we ever, like, try to do, like, an FNM like that. Though, um, of note to anybody who's watching right now, we are doing community night on Friday. So if you want to get golf with friends for that, that would be fun. Your LGS is 3,000 miles away on the correct side of the country. Aww. Yeah, effing golfers. I'm excited for Golf with Friends. I think it's going to be a good time. We've never played that on stream. Oh my gosh, my opponent's a Yorion deck. Let's try to kill them fast. Yes, Metal Mario. Uh, the update works as following. In gold rank, when you win, you get two pips. And when you lose, you only lose one. So gold and silver are now like the same, basically. Yorion as a companion had a very poor win rate. Is that true? I have had, I've done it twice. One time we were, we just like one, two, one three or something. It was bad. The second time I, we seven owed. But I think it was like right in the beginning of the format. So people were less practiced. You know what I'm saying? Um, This looks, I think our hand is kind of banging. Let's just get these excavation moles going. Yeah, dude, my Karuga decks have been feast, Louise. They, they just have not worked out very well. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, I thought they might have a uh, fire prophecy. That's so random, Rogue. That's really cool, though. 
Also, that's really sweet, Casey. Ooh, love to see it. Um, I do really want to hit land. What do we want to do here? I guess just play Farfinder and hit a land, and the next turn maybe we can go exclamation will dram through. Seems okay. I think so, Decklist. I think it's really important to get the Finder going. I'm just I'll trade here if they want to trade. It's fine. You walked in for the first time since I gotten back and heard of him. That's so random, Rogue. You're like, dude, what? <laughs> What should I make to bring over to your knees? Something yummy, but I have no ideas. Hmm. Rice crispy treats? Those are pretty yummy and people love them. Let's block. And they're pretty easy to make, too. Oh, that one we actually want to kill. Way more than the frenzied raptor. So... What does this do? It bring makes a soldier when it comes back. I think I think I think so, Louise. And I think I'm gonna ram the Farfinder into the valley and rescue her. It's just like really bad to leave that thing alive. I feel like it would be a mistake to do that. And this and that. And honestly, I'm gonna hit with this because if they trade the garrison cat, I would be happy with that. I don't think I've ever done that, Boonie. How do you do that? Like, Rice Krispie Treats, the only thing they leave is a pretty big mess. Like, cleaning the, the pan that you make the thing in is hard because it's all marshmallows. <laughs> but they, they're they really easy to make and they always come out great. Okay, there's the Yorion. Cool, and they don't have a garrison cat anymore, so... We Gucci. Okay. Yeah, Luis, that thing was amazing. That thing was so worth it, though, and we killed it all. It was it was a hundred percent worth it. Um, let me just kill that. I guess maybe it could have waited because they don't have blue right now. I was just worried about them having like some sort of counter magic or something. Oh my god, Fader, that sounds amazing. I've never tried that. I've always just done the like whatever the recipe calls for, but I've never seen a recipe that called for that. That sounds amazing. Your sister discovered a new recipe. Oh, oh my god, Zero! That's that's kind of sweet and also scary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have 22 cards. I mean... What do we want to play here? Mythos can get back. Farfinder, naturalist, nothing. I think we just play the mole and hope the mole is good enough. If they have a way to kill this mole, we're going to be in troubles. Okay, don't kill the mole. Don't do it. Don't look at it. Plus, if we hit a land next turn, we just get to play the honey mammoth and then we're in great shape. We just need to not dobs. Oh yeah, Molly, I, w I wanted to see if Mythos could maybe buy something that we could also play that turn that would trade with a Frenzied Raptor in, in, in an okay way. Because this, this feels like a trade down. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Smokey, that's great. Oh no! We got Fire Blitz Blitzed. Alright, we need to draw land next turn. We're still in this. If we draw land next turn, we're doing fine. Come on, land. Oh, baby. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Okay. Step one. Honey mammoth. Oh, shoot. No. Ah, how dare they know? 
Wow, we dubbed! We died of frenzied raptor. Feels bad, man. New laptop Thursday? God, new computer day is the best day, Holden. Feels good, man. No! We died to Yorium pile of cards! <laughs> That's the end of our draft, too, I think. Oh, rats. I guess we finished 5-3, which isn't too shabby, but still. I can't believe we lost to Yorium pile. Yeah, that thing goes face. Can you believe that, Casey? Every time it goes face, I'm like, what? Amazing. Who knew that card could be remotely playable? I do like the Abush. That's not my first Majestic Oracorn, you lie. Which card goes face? A uh, Springjaw Trap goes face. I'm getting Mono Yadaros. Beep, 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 ba -doo -doo. The Oolith? Alrighty. Let me wrap up this draft and then we'll start a new one. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Pretty cool draft. I like this deck. The back for more card and reanimating the Titanoth Rex is like an actual real combo. I think that thing's a thing you can for reals do. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the Aquaria draft. If you would like to see more of them, they are on YouTube.com slash Gabby Sparts. And if you would like to support the streaming channel, you can hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps out. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See ya. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.